Hello everyone, welcome back to Grumpy's Corner and our Super Bowl Spectacular. Last week we did Cincinnati and this week it's LA's turn. Ah, uh, LA, City of Angels, sun, surf, palm trees, beaches, Disneyland, freeways, packed freeways, smog, Okay, okay, enough negativity. Having spent most of my life in California, I've been to LA many times. It has a lot to offer, lots of things to see and do. That's the good part. The bad part is it's a sprawling place with miles and miles of highways, and they are always packed. It is said that LA is a suburb in search of a city. I spent a fair amount of time thinking of the one thing that defines LA, like Chile defines Cincinnati. After all that thinking, one thing kept coming back to me, the phoniness. Let me explain. Think of LA quick and what comes to mind. Hollywood, movies, phony. Actors making believe they are someone else in what is probably a made up story. Yes, there are true stories made into movies, but most are fiction. Hollywood originally was a community that turned into a movie mecca when D.W. Griffith first filmed here. The Hollywood sign? It originally advertised Hollywood land when housing was being built. Now you can visit the Chinese theater, Those stars walk of fame. How about Disneyland? Knott's Berry Farm. Universal Studios. Phony. Make-believe worlds, worlds where one can escape their own reality and enjoy carefree days. How about Beverly Hills? The place is real. The inhabitants phony. City of plastic surgeons, crazy expensive stores. And remember those actors? They live here. These visions kept coming back to me. Yes, there are real things there. Awesome weather, beautiful beaches, palm trees, smog, earthquakes, homeless. Even the people who live there make fun of it. Remember the movie La La Land? That's a common nickname for L.A. in Northern California, who most of the time just wish L.A. would break off during an earthquake and float away, even though they have their own crazy place, San Francisco. But one other thing truly defines water, L.A., and that's water. When you ride around and see all the beautiful fountains and water features, you might think, wow, they have a lot of water here. Wrong. They have none. L.A. is a coastal desert on the edge of the Mojave Desert. Mojave desert. So what happened for L.A. to grow like wildfires? During the city's early days, an enterprising city engineer named Mulholland stole a whole lake from a place inland called Owens Valley. There used to be a beautiful lake there. Now, dirt. The thievery continues even today. Example, the Colorado River doesn't reach the ocean anymore. L.A. siphoned it off until now. It just disappears into more dirt. I lived in the San Francisco area for over 40 years, and I cannot remember a time when the North and South were not fighting over water. But maybe, just maybe, L.A.'s defining thing is it's a place where one can escape to, whether it's amusement parks, beaches, elegant shopping, cinema, world-class universities. Where else can a waitress in a diner serve someone who makes her a movie star? Yes, it has warts, but what or who doesn't? America is lucky to have such variety, beauty, and music, amusement all in one place. It said what happens to the country starts in California, 
and what happens to California starts in LA. If you want to explore the water business in LA, I highly recommend the movies Chinatown and its sequel, The Two Jakes. Both star Jack Nicholson and they are certainly worth your time. I know this was a little different from what I usually present, but I hope you found it informative and interesting. I also hope no one was offended. If so, it is not intentional. It's just some of Grumpy's grunts. Mm -hmm. So that concludes our look at LA. But when I was going through the pictures to find this presentation, I ran across this and I wished I had it during the, pri the pirate one. And that's that would be me, the grumpy pirate. So there, that would be per that would have been perfect. Thank you once again. Your continued support is always appreciated. And if you want Grumpy's take on anything, don't forget, put it in the comments. Have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.